On today's episode of Beer and Watches, I'm reviewing a watch all the way from England. It is the Storm Styro Laser. And when you see the dial on this watch, you're going to be blown away. Times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey guys, Matt Johnson here and welcome to my YouTube channel Beer and Watchers where every week I do watch reviews and always mix it with craft beer brews. However, today, like Friday, I'm not drinking beer, I am drinking cider because it's summery and quite frankly, this is really refreshing. We'll get to the cider a little bit later in the episode, but today I'm excited because I am reviewing a watch from Storm Watchers of London. Now, I live in Canada, but originally I'm from the UK, so to get back to the Motherland is always a great thing. Now, before we get into the watch, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button over there to the bottom right of the screen, and also make sure that you hit the bell notification so you don't miss a single watch review video every time I post them. Just so you know, I normally only post watch reviews on Fridays. However, I'm backlogged with watches into the channel. So today, well, this week, I figured I'd produce three videos like old times. One today, one Wednesday, and one Friday. So make Make sure you look out for those. Now, as I mentioned, today we're reviewing the watch in this box. It is the Styro Laser Blue from Stormwatchers of London. Now, if you've never heard of Stormwatchers, you can check them out on Instagram at Storm London Official, and you can also check out their eclectic and, quite frankly, really, really cool lineup of male and female watches over at stormwatchers.com, and I'll put the links in the description below this video, so do make sure you go check them out. Now, all of the Storm watches come with a full two-year warranty. They've got free shipping in the UK and the US, and then anywhere else internationally only costs £6, which I personally think is a bit of a deal. Now, as far as pricing goes, it does depend on the watch model that you're going for, but as for this one that we're reviewing today, it comes in at only £89, which is €105, Euros, $130 US dollars, or $150 Canadian dollars. Now, as far as the watch inside goes, you're about to see something really really, really unique to Storm, which is their photochromic glass. And trust me, it is very, very cool. So without further ado, let's swing this camera around. Let's unbox this bad boy and take a closer look at the specs. Okay, let's dig into this watch from Storm Watchers of London. Now, first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to the folks over at Storm Watchers for sending me this watch for review. I don't get paid for this review. However, I do get to keep the watch, which is very kind of them. First of all, the box that it comes in has this outer sleeve. We've got the Storm logo and London kind of foil embossed on the box. Just a pretty basic cardboard box. Now, upon opening this, we are greeted with the watch itself, which is on a nice little pillow cushion. Take a look at that dial. First of all, as you can see, it goes from blue to red. And then if we tip it all the way, it kind of goes to a gold. It's got this photochromic lens, which I think is very, very cool. And this kind of glass, this photochromic glass that allows it to change color like this is actually kind of distinctive on a lot of the Storm watches. And I think it's just absolutely mesmerizing. Kind of one of those things that really sets this watch apart from its competitors. What we're looking at here is the Styro Laser Blue. You can get it in the Styro Gold Turquoise, the Styro Laser Green, green and the Styro Slate Blue, which has the black uh, 316L stainless steel and strap. Let's get this off the cushion and let's take a look at some of the specs of this watch. Now, Storm do have men's and women's watches. Again, go along to stormwatches.com to check out their really cool and eclectic lineup of watches. Now, if you've never heard of photochromic lenses, basically a photochromic lens has molecules that change structure in the the glass when exposed to light and dark. Now looking at the case, we've got a graduated dial there under that photochromic glass. The glass is a mineral crystal. It is flat, but it is slightly raised up 
from the watch with a beveled edge and it goes down into this beveled stainless steel bezel which goes down into the watch case all brushed in a 316L stainless steel. We've got hour markers all the way around with the minute track as well. We've got an hour and minute hand there with a second hand and I didn't realize but it actually looks as though there is some loom on there. You can see some strips on the hour and minute hand certainly and I think on the hour markers as well. So let's take this quickly into the dark room and check out the loom. And there is the loom on the storm watch. Now I've got to say that's actually a pleasant surprise. I had no idea that this watch had got loom on it. As you can see we've got hour markers that are loomed, hour and minute hands that are loomed and also the storm logo just below the 12 o'clock position is loomed as well. Now as far as the rest of the watch goes it comes in at about 98 grams in weight. Stainless steel mesh strap. We've got a stainless steel buckle here stamped with the storm logo and uh, if we open up the strap we've got a stainless steel press down case back high polish as well storm there you can see the model number stainless steel case water resistant to 50 meters and styro which is the particular model of this watch moving around to the crown we've got a push pull crown it is embossed with the storm uh, s on there and if we pull this out it's actually got some really good teeth on there and that's just going to change the time no lag very responsive indeed push back in to set the watch and you're all set to go now as far as the measurements on this goes let's get my calipers in here the measurements uh, without the crown we've got a case diameter of 44 44.5 and with the crown we've got a case diameter of 48 we've got a lug to lug on this of about 52 53 millimeters and we've got a case thickness of 10.5 millimeters give or take and a band width of 22 millimeters so it's going to be nice and easy to change the straps on this and as a matter of fact these straps do have quick release pins which we saw in the watch on Friday I love these kind of pins these are my favorite kinds of straps you simply pull down on that pin and the watch strap comes off so all in all a very nice clean elegant dress watch with kind of a modern futuristic twist on it now we're going to take the back off this and take a look at the movement that's powering it inside but before we do it's time for a beer break normally a beer break but today a cider break if you saw my episode on friday i was drinking a cider from the grower cider company right here in canada and today i'm drinking another one that one was the stone fruit i think it was called and this one is the clementine pineapple comes in at five percent alcohol 350 milliliter can all the apples are grown right here in canada and if you want to check them out you can go right here to this website growerscider.com so without further ado let's crack it and stack it Ah, pour just a little bit and we'll give it a taste. Cheers. Here's to, not the weekend, the rest of the week. Hope you have a great week, guys. Cheers. That is so good. The stone fruit cider that I tried on Friday's episode was really, really good, but it was a little sweet. This one is not as sweet, very refreshing, and the pineapple and clementine taste is absolutely to die for. I recommend checking these out growerscider.com i'll put the link in the description below this video i'm going to enjoy the rest of this let's get back to the watch let's get the case back off and take a look at the movement inside i'm just going to pop that off good and we'll take this off and take a look at the movement inside now unfortunately it is a quartz movement but we can't see the movement because of that plastic cover on there so we're just going to remove the plastic safety cover now i can see that it tells me on there that it's an unadjusted mayoda company movement the battery on this is an sr626 sw i can tell you that that battery has a three-year battery life now i can't actually see any model on this movement so i did a little bit of research before this video and i found out what we have here essentially what we have is a mayoda japanese 2025 movement no jewels in there um, it's good to about plus or minus 20 seconds and uh, as far as the hacking function on this goes let's see if it is hackable pull the crown out and as you can see the second hand stops which means it is hackable which allows for more precise time setting and when i push the crown back in uh, the second hand starts up again got kind of a metal plate with this checkerboard finishing just nicely done no reason to put that in there but it just means they paid a little bit more attention to the build quality we'll pop the case back back on and we'll finish up the review so there you have it my friends the styro laser in blue with that really really 
cool photochromic glass that changes color. I absolutely love it. If there was ever a watch that's going to have presence and get seen on your wrist, it will be this one. Again, if you want to check these watches out, don't forget to go over to stormwatches.com. And right now, they're having an up to 55% off sale on a whole bunch of their watches. And again, they have watches for both male and female. So make sure you go check them out. Again, I'll put the links in the description below this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Take care enjoy the rest of your week we'll see you again on wednesday for another watch review by the way if you haven't seen it yet click on that video right there that's a good one and click on the beer and watches logo to subscribe i'm matt johnson we'll see you wednesday and bye for now